Yo, what is up, everybody? Back on the scene with another video. This time we here talking once again about gaming stuff. And yeah, let's get it popping. Oh, damn, day, baby. Oh. Anyway, uh, yeah. So there ain't much going on with gaming other than, you know, a lot of people getting Overwatch playing and they're kicking some ass and, you know, going on about other little games here and there, which is not bad, but this is what I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to the games for October. I want to see what's going on here. You know what I'm saying? What's going on there might be for now. But, uh, yeah, so far, it's been like a little... Uh, I don't know, I've been at my scene so far. I've played a little bit of Overwatch 2 on uh, on the Xbox and whatnot. It you know, seems like the same kind of same game, pretty much, but with a different uh, style, because no more six, uh, 6v6. So a lot of games are more faster and more quicker than usual, which I like. I like I like games when it's like fast-paced and we can get there, because you know, I, I play freaking, you know, pieces of shit characters. <laughs> You know, I like, I like my zombie, baby. What can I say? I like my zombie and I like my ferret. Like going in the air and like whooping your ass on, on foot. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, <laughs> I like to do the damn thing. But back on the scene, uh, October's looking pretty nice so far, but also pretty hush, in my opinion, for the most part. But uh, so far, these games coming out, yeah, they, they could be all right, you know? Like, you know, you got the little uh, games already coming out right now. That's already here, you know, No More Heroes 3. Uh, and the game's coming out, what, it's the 13th? So a lot of these games right here are all coming out the same exact date. We got uh, PlayStation Stars, whatever that is, EU, Sunday Gold, I don't know what that is. <laughs> a lot of these games that I haven't seen before, but it might be interesting to watch and see. Of course, Dragon Ball Breaker is supposed to be coming out tomorrow on this day, you know? And from what that gameplay I've seen, it could be okay, but it looks like it's gonna be a big flop. I'm telling you, it could be, it's very 50-50 with this game. Like, people that maybe enjoyed maybe Xenoverse, maybe like it. I know maybe Ryan Styles might like that type of stuff, but, I don't see that for Dragon Ball fans, you know. I'm a Dragon Ball connoisseur, you know. I like Dragon Ball. I like my games with variety and stuff. But, you know, Dragon Ball is all about beat, beat em up. <laughs> it's all about beat em up, period, you know. You you fight this guy 1v1, 1v3, 1v6, you know. <laughs> yeah, you jump you jump him off, freaking. That's what you do in Dragon Ball. <laughs> That's what you do. But, uh, yeah. Also... This was a surprise at NHL. What the hell is this? When the, nobody ain't tell me a damn thing about this. I need to check that out myself. You know what I'm saying? Right on the spot. So far, this looks interesting. But uh, of course, when you have NHL, it's EA, of course. So it's... Mm. <laughs> but of course, No Man's Sky 3 coming into all platforms. Uh, on Normal Heroes, I mean 3 for all platforms pg tour which is the uh, golf saint uh kotor huh? or core i should say <laughs> i say kotor for some reason uh this game looks interesting could be interesting but uh overall let me see here oh this looks like a uh looks like a one of those little the indie games very low budget games but it's okay it's not bad yeah, Star Trek Prodigy Supernova. Hmm, is this the same Star Trek that we always had, always seen? I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. Of course, we can check it out right now if you want. Oh, it's only a little bit of what? Wow, that trailer. <laughs> that trailer is very short, but it looks it looks interesting. Ah, oh, it's like different planets. You go on planets too. Okay, so that might be interesting to see. Of course, that's very interesting to see. Of course, uh, Destiny Sword, Destiny's Sword. Uh, this could be. Uh, let me see. Is this what I think it is? Hmm. Yeah. 
kind of yeah oh yeah no that's the <laughs> yes yeah yeah sword gameplay yep more destiny stuff okay all right and what the world is this ghostbusters unleash one more time for your mind for ghostbusters unleash if we didn't oh yeah this is the old ghostbusters i think they announced this way long to way 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 long time ago now they finally making a ghostbuster games i think this is like uh i think this is kind of like uh like a first person if you think too i think i believe right yeah it is it's like you could be a ghost and kind of like a dead by daylight i think it's kind of like kind of have like that little style but chasing a ghost is like the reverse <laughs> yeah you got custom characters uh yes you got chase the ghost yes so this is could this could be a fun game too this and Dragon Ball game is like the, is almost like the mirror opposite of each other, in my opinion. But this this game could be very good for a few days. But you know, you know, how games last on uh on Twitch and YouTube probably. You know, I mean, it could be definitely be a good game to, uh, for a YouTube video for sure. <laughs> but anything, that's that's about it so far from what I've seen that piqued my interest so far. We got Marvel Snap, which I don't know what this is. So let's check that out. Is this a card game? I think it is. Oh yeah, yeah. This is the uh, this is the card game from Marvel. That's what they've been doing. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Good to know. Good to know. So that's a little card-based game where you take turns uh, playing Marvel cards, which is exactly. Uh, I forgot it was called Snap. <laughs> this was a while back. I remember seeing that. Last Hero of Nostalgia, The Last Worker, Uncharted Legacy of Thieves. I kind of want to get this bundle because I had I had the uh, other Uncharted for uh, PlayStation Four. Yeah, <laughs> that one was pretty good. So I got everything but except for the Legacy one. I had to buy that separately because they didn't reach that until later. So this is what all all the collection for the full size collection. See now this this series is what I would love to see come back to, but maybe you have a uh, or better yet have this have Uncharted meets Tomb Raider. How about we have like a cross a cross gaming uh, experience with Tomb Raider and Uncharted characters combined? Yeah, you know. I have like a not versus versus, but you could do that for, for multiplayer and stuff. But this would be right up, you know, Tomb Raider's alley, you know, in my, <laughs> you know, add characters, add some new characters, fresh, fresh out, ah, flesh out characters in the series. Have Laura meet, meet, uh, <laughs> meet Nathan, and meet Sam, all of them, you know. Have them combine powers and all kinds of guns, equipment, and go on crazy ass adventures, you know? At one chapter, maybe Uncharted, and other chapter, to, uh, Lore, you know? It'd be freaking, be freaking amazing. If they do how to do it right, though. You know, story has to be wild and crazy and tigers galore, you know, stuff. <laughs> you know, they didn't. And jumping over, jumping over crazy. He gonna be flying and swinging and oh, he doing He Man shit. <laughs> doing caveman stuff. So yeah, that'd be interesting to see. I would love to watch that and play that game. You know, because you know Nathan Drake games are literally like kind of like storytelling games, in my opinion. You just playing through a a whole movie story. <laughs> and you just gotta go here to go here, shoot this guy, run like crazy guy. Watch out for that big ass freaking car. Oh, this car is chasing you. You gotta swing over here. Oh, you don't hit this. You're gonna die right there. You know, stuff like that. And it had to be Laura this time, you know? Laura Roth. So that'd be nice to see. But anyway, made out of idea. You know, you heard it first. Uh, we got uh, Hells and Others. I haven't noticed this game. This, that name seems odd. I don't know if, have I seen this? I don't think I have seen this one. No, 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 no. Nah. 
This is like something C's might play. <laughs> it could be. Okay, it's in. Of course, we have Jack Box Party Pack 9. Which I thought already thought this came out already, but you know, Jackbox has so many goddamn games. So this looks uh, to be another one. Mario and uh, Rabbit, uh, Spark of Hope, another 20. Warhammer again. <laughs> Warhammer game is always coming out. And Gotham Knights, this is another game I'm looking forward to seeing and seeing the customization because that's literally what piqued my interest in this game in the first place. But minus the, you know, People thought it was affiliated with the Arkham Knights and the Arkham series all together, but you know, it's, uh, oh, it's nope, just entirely different story, different, uh, <laughs> different story, different people, different, uh, universe from, uh, the original Arkham series. So this, this is one by Montreal, I believe. So yeah, this one's not Rocksteady this time. This is, uh, the other one. So yeah, they doing their thing. Hopefully this game will play out good from but from what i've seen people who talked about it and play the game so far it seems like it's slightly a bit slower than the arkham series game so it could be mm, could be a little bit iffy but i do i'm i'm hearing good things about the customization and from uh videos they've talked about and showed so far it looks good but i would like to see more of it hopefully this game is uh <laughs> not short I, but I heard you can play this game co-op though. I heard you can play this game entirely co-op all the way through. All the way through. The whole game. You can play it all the way through the game. And another person can be from city. Can be all the way from the east side and the west side. So there's no split. So there's no... You need to be close together and fight uh, to, together and, and do, do things together. You know, like a proximity. It's not proximity. So there's no layers. There's no limits. So you can go from east to west, which is good. So you can tally me back up into this <laughs> back up to fight crime and then go do your own separate thing so hopefully that stays like that from what i've heard now we got new tales of the borderlands of course i've seen this too this looks like a wild uh storytelling game also of course uh this is a telltales game of course they always have interesting uh stories to tell <laughs> persona 5 royal i think i've seen this i'm gonna go check it again one more time Cause you know, I always gotta check these things out. Yeah, Persona. This is looks like the same one I've seen. Yeah, yeah, another Persona game, of course. <gasps> same one, I think. Yeah, I think this is the same Persona game I've seen. It's not bad, but yeah, people who like Persona will probably still like this. <laughs> of course, it's the same game. Uh, Mountain of Blade Two. Banner Lord. Hmm. I don't think I've heard of this game so far. I'm sure, some of this stuff looks familiar. Some of this stuff is not familiar. But of course, I'm checking it out right on the spot <coughs> while I'm making this video. So, we check it out. Ah, so this game has customization too. Uh huh. It kind of almost looks like, uh. It almost looks like Black Desert a little bit. <laughs> Got a little customizations. Oh, we got like a little uh, civilization type thing going on. And you can go in and. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, that's unique. It's for a PC, of course, because yeah. <laughs> this looks like a PC. <laughs> it's like this could be a PC game for real. But anyway, it's for all systems. But yeah. This is definitely like it could be a PC game and people are mod like crazy if they put this on PC, but I get it. Not bad. All right, now the other games uh, like Gunfire Reborn. This looks, this name also sounds familiar to me. I was about to say, <laughs> I was about to say, uh, I know Bayonetta 3 is coming out. I was about to say that. But uh, this, what is this? This looks like, uh, oh, this is the little cat game with the guns and first person view. Yes, 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 yes. And bears and animals fighting, but uh, kind of looks like, uh, what you call it? Not, not Overwatch, but uh, Call of Duty, but with like cartoon style a little bit or Doom, I should say. 
like Doom with a cartoon style towards it. And of course, you got loot and all this other stuff and warps. Yeah, this this could this could be a game that'd be fun, fun had. Yes, yes, yes. Anyway, all of this is looking pretty damn good overall. I can't wait to tell you. There's gonna be more of it. But anyway, back to that. We got uh, Star Ocean, the Divine Force. Yes, that's gonna be another one. And there it is, Bayonetta 3 coming to the Switch. Now, in this game, I haven't played a Switch game. Not playing on playing Switch games, but uh, this game looks like it's gonna be a freaking. <laughs> it's gonna be a hit regardless. I don't know what it is about Bayonetta games, but it just plays like a freaking game. It plays like the game you wanna play. <laughs> <laughs> wow, crazy. Yeah, silly. It's gonna have all that. Yeah, that's that's gonna be one to watch for sure. And of course, <gasps> modern booty warfare 2 coming out that same damn day, of course. Another big hit game for a lot of players gonna be playing the hell out of that, you know, especially uh, you know, people from Apex and and streamers alike like Tim and uh, the disrespect and all this <laughs> so yeah they're gonna be playing hell out of that game for sure and i think that's about it other than the Eve resident evil <laughs> this one of course this looks uh if i remember correctly this is this is not that it's not that little puzzle one right it's not that right this is uh yeah this is the fighting uh yeah, you fighting each other yeah okay yeah this is that one so this one's finally coming out because i remember they they did the one with uh you had to get out you had like escape you had to have like escape rooms and from one point a to point b this one is just like fighting each other turning into like uh what is it mr x and nemesis and fighting each other and shooting each other <laughs> like a some yeah like a multiplayer multiverse type thing <laughs> So yeah, that's the only thing I've ever seen. I think that was, yeah, that's about it, I think. Yeah, for sure. But anyway, guys, that's it for our October month. So yeah, three games I'm looking forward to. Gotham Knights, for sure, and seeing how the reviews and people play this game. If I'm right, I'm right. If I'm not, well, screw you, Legendary. I know that's what y'all want to say, or going to say. But anyways... That's it for now. I'll catch you on the next screen. <laughs> Legendary Owl. Peace.